Kiss FM musical historians say that is Madonna's first great single. It was actually her first number one hit, too. Into the Groove, back from July of 19... The first time, how little aptitude she has for her chosen profession, which is public life. The second... She didn't say an awful lot, except that she wants the emails that she obviously wanted to conceal for a long time. There's no other reason for having her own private server. She now wants them out as fast as possible. The problem is we have seen from the IRS and its complicity with the Justice Department how long you can take if you really want to drag your feet. And there's no question but that they could get the emails out a lot faster if they really wanted to. The question is, why don't they? What do you mean, why don't we all know why they don't want it? Here's 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 here we out there. I want those emails out. That's BS. Don't want those emails out. Just feel like you want the truth of Benghazi out. She doesn't want the emails out. And here's a, what's a federal judge. The, the Justice Department originally said, you know what? There's a lot of paper to go through. Mrs. Clinton destroyed what's on her server, supposedly. Actually, it's not, but she says it is. So we got to go through a lot of paper. We can't release any of the investigation in these 30,000 emails until January 2016. But federal judge said, wait, 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 nope, you're going to not wait that long. You're going to roll this stuff out as you translate it. You're going to roll this stuff out as you read it. You're going to roll this stuff <coughs> out starting as soon as you can. And there's going to be a daily dose of this stuff or a weekly dose. Now, the Clintons and the Obamas will go find a different judge to appeal this judge and delay the release of these emails even beyond January. But George Will's right here. She continues to to uh, display just how little aptitude she has for this, for her chosen profession, which is public life. 